So Honorable Sohana Khan, daughter of King Khan, bought three houses for thirteen crores as an agriculturist. Why? Because there are tax benefits. K. L. Rahul, the famous cricketer, Nathya Shetty, they received fifty-five crores as gifts in the wedding. Do you know how much tax did they pay on it? Zero. BCCI made twenty-five thousand crores from IPL rights alone. How much tax? Zero, because it's a charitable organization. Today, six seventy million Indians who belong to the poorest parts of the population, they pay sixty-four percent of total tax. According to the Economic Survey of India this year, these Indians paid fifteen lakh crore in FY twenty-two alone. But look at the top ten percent of Indian population. That population owns seventy-seven percent of country's total wealth. Can you take a guess how much tax do they pay? Only three percent. This population buys villas in Goa, Mumbai, Golgaon. Why? Because real estate is the best medium where you can convert your black money into white money. It is not surprising that some of the members of parliament they have investments in real estate. You will be surprised to know that property prices in India are even higher. Than some parts of Boston, and compare that with the per capita income of both the places. Today, even today, it's much cheaper for me to buy property in Bali than in Gwalior. Housing is unaffordable. You may think that there's a huge nexus of businessmen and politicians, but you are wrong. Why? Because they are the same people. Think about this: same people. Wearing different hats, Naveen Jindal, a former MP, is a billionaire. In our Lok Sabha today, out of five twenty-one sitting MPs, four thirty are crorepatis. There's nothing wrong in being a crorepati, but the problem is ninety-five percent households in India earn less than eight lakh annually. Households. This ninety-five percent cannot buy houses, cannot afford quality school or healthcare, because five percent of India that rules over them have different economic, social, and political priorities, and rightfully so. Now I will read through one of the newspaper articles that I stumbled upon. Listen to this very carefully, and take a guess what could this be about. So, Divisional Commissioner Deepak Singh. Additional DGP D Shrivanas Shrinivas Verma Collector Akshay Kumar Singh and SP Rajesh Singh along with other senior officials of the administration and police held a very important meeting on Monday Senior officials of the Indian Air Force were also part of this meeting For security a force of 250 jawans from the Gwalior range will be given from the four districts Additional DGP has also sought two companies for security from police HQ. That's the police headquarter. Traffic divert will be considered after the VIP's chartered plane is fixed, and this goes on and on. Can you take a guess? What is this regarding? What could this be regarding? So one month ago, Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare of India, Cabinet Minister. His daughter got married in Gwalior. Roads were blocked, traffic was diverted, innocent civilians had to miss out on meetings, even hospital appointments. From collector to SP to Indian Air Force, they were engaged not in public service but for serving the public servant's daughter. This is a newspaper report of that movement. Is this why you cleared civil services so that one day you can make security arrangements? for the wedding of a minister's daughter so this is not called as democracy the precise word for this is plutocracy plutocracy is a system that is controlled by people of great wealth or power 
plutocracy is a system where degree of economic inequality is very high and should remain always high because wealth is the primary basis of power in plutocracy and when will they become powerful what will they do they will create innovative solutions that will help other wealthy people solutions like suhana khan saving taxes because she is a farmer solutions like establishing a charitable trust that sponsors mega events it is only in plutocracy where hard working middle class will keep on paying for the glamorous lifestyles of the rich and the powerful and the sad part is middle class and the poor class will convince their soul that their taxes are being used for right purposes such as affordable housing which is not affordable anymore such as quality health care just try getting an appointment with aims doctor such as quality education i don't know how many politicians send their kids to government schools or colleges in india arimans in india went to yale zohar irani smriti irani son went to warwick for his undergrad the list is endless is this the india that bhagat singh dreamt of 23 year old bhagat singh before he was hanged wrote that the peasants have to liberate themselves not only from the foreign yoke but also from the yoke of landlords and capitalists has this happened rather we have capitalists and landlords becoming peasants why so that they can save on taxes via loopholes bhagat singh also declared that struggle in india will continue as long as handful of exploiters would go on to exploit the labor of common people for their own ends 23 year old bhagat singh wrote it does not matter whether these exploiters are purely british british and indians in alliance or even purely indians it doesn't matter what is happening today pure indians in alliance with across political parties exploiting india was bhagat singh secular bhagat singh was fully and consciously secular he often told his comrades that communalism not communism communalism was a big enemy as big as enemy as capitalism for him it meant colonialism by the way and they should firmly oppose it sadly this brave man was hanged till death at a mere age of 23 just imagine how india would have been had he been alive the national revolutionary movements will end soon chandrashekhar azad was killed in a shooting encounter with the police in a public park in ilhabad in february 1931 anyone from ilhabad prayagraj that park is still called as azad park is the reason for it chandrashekhar azad as a reminder that once upon a time a brave man of india chandrashekhar azad laid his life there in action